A very warm welcome to Watch Advisor on YouTube. I am in the Vallon de saint imier If you are questioning now what is a Vallon, it's a valley, but a small valley in French. So we are the Valley de saint imier saint imier is a village where Longines has its headquarters and I'm very I'm delighted to be able to finally present you the novelties of Longines 2019. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. We had to wait a little and you know that uh, we already in May were able to film the novelties uh, of Swatch Group, of Omega, of Rado and all the other brands. But um, Longines just invited us today to be here and to, uh, that I can present you those novelties. Um, in the other video where I have been putting together a little bit of, of uh, a choice, the best of uh, the novelties, um, I have been teasing this watch already. So if you see this watch the first time, you have not seen the other video. So please <laughs> check out also for the other video. If, um, because there, not if, because there you will see all the other novelties. This is a video dedicated to the new Heritage Classic, a new watch uh, that will come to the markets in these days from Longines. Uh, let me just quickly go back on the history a little bit. In 1987, uh, Longines uh, started with the Lindbergh watches to really pick out watches from the museum. There is an enormous heritage here. If you once are in the region in between Neuchâtel, Neuchâtel is in between Zurich and, uh, uh, and Geneva. If you are in the area of La chaux fonds make a little sidestep, come here and have a look at the museum. That's incredible. The heritage of Longines, you go in there and I believe, believe me, when you get out, you are speechless because you don't know what to say and what to think. They have an incredible heritage. And of course, why not using the heritage for doing pieces that you probably would like? I like those watches. The last one heritage issue was the Skin Diver. I have it on my wrist. I saw it in Basel two years ago. I said I have to have it and it's here. These are watches, fair pricing, good quality, and you really get cool watches in terms, they are far from mainstream, they are really special watches because they have a history and they are done in a special way. So let's get back. The um, Longines Heritage Classic from this year dates back from 1934. Um, you will see the watch right now in the picture. We have filmed it in the museum. It is a watch that was a little bit smaller, of course, than today. Uh, it had a diameter of 32.5 millimeters and the watch I'm showing now in the picture is 38.5. So, of course, it makes sense to make those watches a little bit bigger because 32.5 millimeters on a wrist, I don't think that it really fits very well or does look very good on a man's wrist today, I'm not so sure. But 38.5 is a size, I would say, that is still very much in the heritage or let's say vintage look because all the watches that are bigger are probably or mostly done later. And so if you are underneath 40 millimeters, you're very good positioned in the, in, on, on, a, on a vintage or heritage look. And besides this, the watch looks identical to what the original piece done in 1930. For, uh, looked like. Why? You have that magic distance in between the small second and the center of the watch. So uh, what Longines did, and this is once again, I have to say respect to them, they developed a proper movement to make, to keep that distance, to make it possible that the small seconds really is on the downside of the dial as close as possible to the six o'clock position. But what happens very often is if you make such a watch, you have a smaller movement. So this is natural then that the small seconds would be almost in the center of the watch and that makes no sense at all. So we had a diff, we have it on the, on the original piece, there was a distance of 5.6 millimeters. And if we now say, okay, 32.5 up to 38.5 millimeters, we come to a distance of 7.3 millimeters, a lot of mathematics, I know, but 7.3 millimeters. And this distance is here. So this piece exactly, even if, even if it is bigger than the original one, gives the exact same distance and the dial looks gorgeous because we don't find the small second swimming around somewhere in the middle of the dial. Really well done Longines, I have to say this is amazing. And now something else um, to top the whole thing and this topping is only 2000 Swiss francs and they top it with a silicone hairspring. So the Movement 888 has a silicone hairspring. What? 
Did you already buy it? No? Come on, guys. 2,000 Swiss francs. Heritage look. I'm kidding, but I, I, I'm really enthusiastic because this is fantastic. 2,000 Swiss francs. You get really a watch that is, in terms of design, gorgeous. You get the best possible quality you can get for the money from Longin because you are in the Swatch Group. Swatch Group has industrial power. They offer all the possibilities also to the brands to really manufacture really good quality. And it's not a question of price, it's a question of quantities. They can do it. You get a silicone hairspring on top. Amazing. And if you buy or if you go for the version with the blue strap, you get a NATO. It's a uh, uh, calfskin. It is not uh, a tissue. It's calfskin. Looks like tissue, but it's calfskin. And you get these two variations if you want the blue and the more gray one. And for those who say, okay, I'm more into a black version. We have the other version here, that's the black version, and you get a kind of jeans uh, look-alike or look um, uh, NATO strap that also goes with. Of course, no watchmaker needed for you. You get the tooling because this is the box that comes also with it. You have the tooling inside, that's the, that's the tooling you need um, to, in between the locks, um, open and take out the, the leather strap uh, and, and uh, just put back um, the, the spring bar and then you will be able to just slide through the NATO and you will have the box comes with it with the strap additionally and you have a nice setup with of course a little booklet with the history and everything so really fantastic job and this done for 2000 Swiss francs so um, dear competitors just in case you're watching here that's hard to beat believe me that's really a hard thing to beat I can really tell you and for you who are not competitors but probably potential clients from my deep of and the deep inside of my heart i really recommend you to have a very close look the watch is not limited very important so these watches are delivered to the markets not limited and you can buy them without uh, the need of go on a waiting list or something similar you just go into the store and say i need one if they are there you buy it and you only spend 2000 swiss francs i said it too often but it's so amazing so thank you once again for watching the video um i was uh, really enthusiastic but these kind of things make me enthusiastic and make me really live the passion I have in me with as a watch collector and everything because when I see these watches it's the same with my uh, skin diver I saw it I fell in love and I said I have to have one it's so different to all all these watches you can buy and that are produced millions by millions they all look the same you get into a restaurant everybody wears the same watch Whoa. um develop your own style and um, yeah be a little bit courageous to say i probably will have to explain a little story when i wear the watch because when i get to the restaurant or when i get to a place uh, no the people seeing me wearing a watch don't recognize the watch in the first minute but why not the watch has history maybe you come here you have been to the museum, you, you get back to the history, and then you can tell a story. So that's really a communication tool somehow. So thanks a lot for watching the Longines Heritage Classic uh, model 2019. And there are more to come, but these watches are still under embargo. But uh, be aware when you see this video that there will be um, two other videos going online very soon presenting two other heritage pieces but they will go online a little bit later. Bye guys!